So I'm going to try to show you that while I'm doing it. Like I said, line up the first hole and get these others lined up so that they're roughly in alignment with the holes. They're not exact. You'll, you'll notice that if I keep, maybe I should do those from the top down. That they'll that way they won't fall out. There's another hint that I didn't use on the first side. And basically, what I'm using these for is pretty much to kind of keep them in alignment. Now that I've got that aligned, I can pop rivet the middle one in. I tried this with all steel rivets and since I'm not as young as I used to be, I was having trouble actually popping them. So what I did is I went back to the old aluminum. These are kind of tight. I gotta, I gotta get a pair of pliers, which I had in my pocket. Pull those out. There they are. We'll find out if that was a better way. the back one in place for now and we'll just take the right angle drill put it up in here the way I know it will work because I did it on the other side bit down through it looks like a pretty good alignment, but we'll clean it up a little bit the front end in. That rivet goes in nicely. And the last one which is again only slightly misaligned, but the holes in the valance that goes in here are plenty big enough that there'll be plenty of wiggle room to line those up. So again, find a way to get the drill up in there. Get it down through the hole in the bracket. Clean up the hole in the fiberglass. And find out where I put that rivet. good solid bracket to bolt the balance to. Uh, getting to be about time for my wife to be done with her work day. She's working from home this week so I am going to 
call it a day for this and be back at it the next time. Before you put the valence on, don't forget to put your horn back up there. There's a green wire, just goes on to the stud on the horn. The, and there's a bolt that attaches the bracket to the frame that supports the bumper. That's it for the horn. Okay, we're looking at the bottom of the nose of the car. Uh, getting ready to put this, which I call the balance. I don't know if that's the proper term for it. Get set to put that up. And I had two bolts already threaded here and here at least hand tight. Um, make sure that's loosened. What I noticed is they do not have a very big head and they barely barely cover the hole that's in the valence. So I think those two bolts, when I painted those, that whole assembly there, which included the vacuum reservoir tank and all the brackets and everything, I think I put those in the wrong place. I think those were supposed to be for the two brackets that hold on the lights, the parking lights. The other thing that's different about them is the thread. The thread doesn't match. So, let's see if I can show you both of these threads. The ones that actually fit in there are much finer thread than the ones I had in those brackets. And I say fit in there. I'm talking the ones with the larger heads, and I do know that they fit in the uh, brackets that are top riveted on that have the welded on nuts in the back. So I'm thinking, and I'm probably going to end up about three bolts short on this valence for today because there were three broken off heads. Um, but I'm going to try to get this up here, get a few bolts started to support it, and then get them all, or as many as I have anyways, started so that um, it's held up. And then I'll tighten them all up and I'll acquire or find a couple more bolts that I may be robbing Peter to pay Paul because I might be getting them from someplace that I'll need them later, so eventually I'll have to buy them, but uh, or acquire them somehow. But at least I will have this up and I can move on to other pieces of the project. That's pretty interesting there. I'm having trouble 
getting this bolt started after I already got one started on the other side. Let's see if I can get the one on the end. I know you can't see this, but I'm there are two that go to the bottom of the fender on the brackets that I pop riveted in the other day. Oh, one here, hope you can see that, and one here. And uh, I believe these are the ones that I had the wrong. bolt started in there. These, these aren't lining up as well as I'd like. Maybe I'll just skip those two bolts that had the wrong thread because they appear to be in a position where I can't get a pull threaded into them. So at any rate, that's what I'll be doing is getting these all started. And there are two I guess I'll move the camera to show you them later, but there's two in the back of the spoiler actually. That, um, I know you can't see from where I have the camera now, but I'm, I'm going to start the rest of them. those bolts. I ah, should have had the hard hat on. Uh, I'll start the rest of those bolts and then I'll be back to tighten them up probably. So in my search to find bolts for that valence, I found two of these. They are brackets that the inboard side of the parking light grill mounts to. So fortunately, because of these holes underneath the valence, I can reach it. So I'm going to put those on.